why it is slower. When opening a SOLIDWORKS file over a network, the data is transferred from the server to the client PC, rather than accessed directly from the local disk. The speed at which this data is transferred is influenced by the network bandwidth, the current network traffic, the server capability such as the hard disk speed, overhead of the handshakes between the server and the clients to maintain the data integrity, the real time of the antivirus if it is present, and the network settings such as the network speed negotiation, encryption, and the IP security. And solid files on the network consist of many kinds of files associated with each other. It consists of the drawings, the parts and the assemblies, library features, and it also can be created different kinds of design binders and tables using Microsoft Office documents. And the network traffic increases when they are open and saving the solid files. And solid files also consist of different configurations. However, SOLIDWORKS does not always need to read an entire file. This means that the data transferred over the network is kept to a minimum. For example, in a model with multiple configurations, SOLIDWORKS only reads the data from the required configurations. In another example, the lightweight mode or the large design review only reads the solid and the surface body data instead of the, all the features data. Opening a SOLIDWORKS drawing or an assembly often opens many associated files at the same time. If a user chooses to open the top-level assembly, each of the references and the sub-assemblies and the parts are open as well. In some cases, this can be hundreds or even thousands of files. It is not possible to compare opening a typical SOLIDWORKS model with any kinds of Microsoft Office documents. Do you know? When you're opening a solid file over the network, it is not possible to use the entire available network bandwidth. This is because when you access the SOLIDWORKS data or files over the network, the software is reads the file in the small packets. In between, there are handshakes between the client and the server to maintain the data integrity. When a user has exclusive access to the solid files, that file is locked and this is allow the user to read the file quickly and with reduced levels of the file checking. However, when multiple users access a solid file simultaneously, the system makes many more checks while reading the data to preserve the data integrity. When performing a file copy across the network, Windows Explorer reads and writes the data in much more larger packets than when other application openings the file across the network. This means that the file copy corporations consume significantly more than available network bandwidth, so which is result a quicker process. So what is the recommendation for a multi-user network environment? To avoid the performance limitation as stated, the recommendation is to use product data management PDM system that is a capable of checking out the data from the network location onto the user local machines. SOLIDWORKS PDM or any other SOLIDWORKS data management solutions offer a range of applications that provide functionalities to quickly and efficiently to manage the data files and documentation. If you want to know more about the data management solution either from desktop or cloud, feel free to contact us now.